Hey there, Julian from MemberStack here, and today we are starting a new series where we are going to try to build a Instagram clone type of thing, a social media platform with image posts using no-code tools. So what we're doing here is just mapping it out, and throughout this series we're going to be doing different things, releasing a whole bunch of free resources so that you can learn how to do it on your own, and finally, at the end, we will be releasing this as a premium template. So anyways, here we are, and what we've done is we have mapped it out. We've mapped out the screens and done some simple mapping of how the flows are going to look, how everything is going to work, and talking about which tools are needed. So first things first, let's talk about the tools needed. Here what we have is for our front end, we're going to be using Webflow. For member management, we're going to be using MemberStack, of course. For automations, we're going to be using Make. For our back end, we're going to be using the Webflow CMS, and I'll get back to that in a minute. For chat slash DMs, we're going to be using Talk.js. For searching and liking and a couple other features, we're going to be using Jetboost. And for commenting, we're going to be using MemberStack. So back on this point here about the back end, the Webflow CMS. So the Webflow CMS is actually for a lot of more basic use cases, a super powerful back end. And if you've used any of our premium templates, especially, you would have seen how cool the Webflow CMS can get, and you're going to see that throughout this. The only issue with the Webflow CMS as a backend is the fact that there is an item limit, which is something that you need to keep in mind, and that is 10,000 items unless you're on enterprise hosting. So with this, we're going to use Jetboost as well to automatically archive posts after a certain amount of days. That way, we don't hit our CMS limit after a short amount of time. So this is the way that it is mapped out. When you first go on the platform, there is going to be a welcome screen. And this is where you're going to go if you're not authenticated yet with MemberStack. And there, there's going to be two options to log in or to sign up. And then depending on which one you choose, you are going to do that. Just enter simple information and it'll log in using, for example, Google or your email, whatever it is that you want to use. And then it's going to take you straight into the feed where it is going to show all of the members' posts on there. And in that, there's going to be a make scenario to create that member and put them in the CMS so that they are saved as a member. And then here you can see we have a feed. So immediately you're going to get taken to a feed, which is going to contain everyone's image posts in chronological order. And not only are there going to be posts, but you're going to be able to like them. You're going to be able to comment on them. There's going to be infinite scrolling using Jetboost. And yeah, so that's it for the feed. Then there's going to be a little nav bar there, similar to what you have on Instagram at the bottom, where there are a couple of different options. So first things first is search. So you're going to be able to search through posts and people based on certain criteria in their profiles. And then you're going to have an option to create a new post right in the center, which is going to use a make scenario to do that. Then there is a, another tab for DMs where you can message different members, view your messages, so on and so forth. If you haven't seen our Talk.js stuff yet, then this is going to be pretty impressive to you. If you have seen it, then you already know what is up. Then we have, obviously, my profile, where you're going to be able to see your own profile, and there's going to be a button to edit it, which is going to be done using a member stack profile form. So this is the way that we start these projects. We map out how is it going to look on a basic level. Now, there are unforeseen things that can pop up. So some of this stuff may be bound to change. While I was filming this video, I already thought of a couple things that may need to be added. So you're going to see it evolve throughout. That being said, this is the general plan. So I hope you follow along. If you're interested, there's going to be a template as well at the end. Talk to you soon and have a great day.